How you doing with this that girl? Trish or CK? CK. I mean, it's okay. Like we've kind of been through a somewhat similar situation before. Like we were on and off for those seven years, you know. And uh, I mean, like I don't know, we talked. We talked a lot last night. Like I'm, I'm okay with it. Like it's whatever happens, happens. You know, like if she doesn't want to get back together, like I need, a, I have other shit in my life I need to focus on right now. Like honestly, chasing women or focusing on women is like the last thing I need to do when I'm broke at 27. Does she want to get back together? Yeah, she does. She made it, when she messaged, when we talked to her, she made it sound like this was going to be like a loving embrace and get immediately get back together and you both were going to exit the show and that was how it was going to be. <coughs> That's not the case? No. Um, I mean, like, I do love her. Like, I do. Like, it's hard not to after that much time, but like, like I said, my shit is fucked right now. Yeah. Have you, have you ever taken an IQ test? Do you ever take an SAT or ACT? Uh, yeah, I took a... Which one's the one with the bigger number? That's how stupid I am. SAT? SAT? Yeah, I got Did like you a, do good on it? I got like a 1050 on that. Okay. I had a similar... My high school sweetheart... Uh, you, you like... When, as soon as you saw CK, you get like butterflies in your stomach, that type of thing? Oh, yeah, no, I was like, oh, yeah. That course. sort of thing. I've had, I've, I've experienced that, uh, I know what that feels like. <clears throat> I've never once had that, like, um, biological impulse match with, like, best partner. Does that make sense? Yeah, no, absolutely. And I'm almost 40 now, and I understand, like, old Chinese people setting up arranged marriages because, um... Here's the th in high school, when you're in high school, you're like, oh, wow, butterflies in my stomach. This is the most interesting thing in the world. And then later on in life, you're like, you get fucking kidney stones, for example. And the, the remnants of whatever, you know, buzz of, of romance, that doesn't help you if, you if you're like hit with back taxes or something. Like, the type of shit that, that's going to start piling on later in life. It doesn't get easier, okay? When you're in high school, college, whatever, that's when your parents are taking care of you. You sort of have this runway set up for everything to be easy for you. That's when it's, like, the easiest, and it gradually gets worse and worse and worse. And it's not a, it's not something to be pessimistic about because they're the benefits that come as you establish yourself and, you know, get your, your life the way you want it. That far outweighs the negatives, but the negatives keep piling on. And it's, it's specifically, it's shit that a solid partner will make, will either, your partner will, e will either amplify this shit or she'll make it go away. Okay? It's either you, it's either you have somebody who is like, uh, when shit hits the fan, they have a level head, they're helping you fucking find your checkbook, whatever stupid thing was going to ruin your day, she's helping you and she's smiling, or she's like a dumb, useless bitch that's not helping you, and when that happens, when you're face to face with a dumb, useless bitch, <coughs> and you're like under pressure because you're going to, whatever, lose your house, lose your job, or you're, you're just your life is so fucked, because women don't know, also women don't know, like she doesn't know that uh, being 27 and working at Texas Roadhouse is like you have your head in a guillotine. She yeah. doesn't know that. Yeah. She probably thinks it's fine. Like, she would she would date a guy that pushes around a mop bucket if her feels were in the you know if she had the right feels from that. So like <clears throat> that's all I'm saying. I think um, from watching you two, I feel like you. I think Chat is fucking with you. I feel like you're a good guy though. And I feel like, um, uh, yeah. Dude, I, I don't, I don't want to say anything negative about your girl. I just think, I think CK is like, I think you probably, it's probably, you probably need something better. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I'm saying this, t like, I'm trying to be as tender no. as possible. I'm not a tender guy. I think she's, I, she does the night shift at IHOP. Yeah. Bro, I can't picture her doing anything other than that. You know what I mean? And I, that was part of why we broke up. I tried so long to get her like to go. To, I mean, I know I'm not in a good situation, but it was like I tried so long to get her to go to school. She went to community college and dropped out, and it just it just became this thing where she was just like she was okay sitting around doing nothing, and like 
there was no motivation to do better because it was like we were comfortable enough that like couldn't do anything and like I wasn't happy with that and I was like I'll 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 live my life broker without you to try to figure out figure out my shit like I, I'll do that like I'm really in a, like I don't I don't have much time you know what I mean. Uh-huh. I mean, there, there is a point where, because um, I did this, I, the reason I'm talking is because I did this myself. I, I, I changed uh, I changed colleges to go chase after my high school sweetheart, and uh, she was just a fucking turd. Like, she was, she slept, um, she slept in on graduation because she was on Lexapro, and it made her sleep all, day, all fucking day, and, uh... We, we even lived together after college, and it was just, like, um, from age 23 to 26, I was just time burning. Like, what you, what you have when you're young, and what you have less of as you approach your 30s, is time. And time is what you use. You, you use the time energy. You transform it into meta energy. You transform it into... Monetary energy, you transform it into life, vitality, family, etc. That's what you, you trade your time for. But I was burning, I was burning my time on this stupid bitch because I couldn't, I felt, I like biologically felt, oh my god, she's the one, she's my, she's the one for me. But every other signal aside from my nuts was telling me that this is just like a fucking anchor. Like you're an anchor person, you belong in the gutter, uh, which is where she is now. <laughs> What the fuck? Actually, no. She, I think she's, um, I think she's a mom now. So good for her. But, uh, point being, not the one. She found her beta bucks, but that's good. That is good for her. I'm not gonna say anything negative about someone who uh, went out to have a child. Good, good move for her. But it took her fucking uh, twenty years to figure it out. Anyway, um, yeah. Don't. I don't know, man. That's my two cents. I'm no, off. I... I appreciate that for stick my nose in your life, but I also want to just tell you what my what I went through. No, I actually sincerely appreciate that. Yeah. Like I needed to hear that from somebody else. Because <coughs> like you know, none, none of my friends that I don't like give a fuck. They're all they're all like, fucking losers too. You know. Well, it's mm-hmm. like so big friends. So it's like the ones where it's like it's just people. It's just all proximity bullshit at the end of the day. And, and it's like you know, they ain't really there to help you out, but like at the same time, it's like. Slot, you know, all this kind of shit, and it just never fucking happened, and, you know, it's like, that shit might be cool, like, 19 to 21, but that shit is really not fucking cool now. Mm-hmm. Did you say don't be a slut? Slob. Slob. Okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 uh, the nightmare ex I told you about my most recent one, it was, like, the same way, it was, like, you know, she said, oh, yeah, my mom's gonna help me, like, pay rent and electricity, never did that. started skipping work the job I fucking got for her and like I had to fucking beg for them like not to fucking fire her as I just thought she was going through some depression bullshit it's like yo I, I fucking spent thousands of fucking dollars yeah, on that bitch sure. what was the job you got for her I mean you know it's like waitress at like I was a dishwasher and prep cook uh, eventually like I had to drop that job go to the paper mill like it wasn't against my bosses wonderful people but still to this day like me and them are like super fucking tight and, like, I know if I was ever in a fucking pinch, they'd take me back in a heartbeat or, like, really help me out. But it's just, like, they couldn't afford to pay.